Hello, hello. I'm always fascinated when I use a stream module in Elixir that I'm really just storing operations in a struct. So I wanted to see maybe how to do a simple implementation of that. So I'm going to take a look at a math module that is lazily evaluated. So we have a lazy math module here. I'll go ahead and add a struct. It has an initial value of zero and a set of operations as ops. All right, let's go ahead and add a new function. This is just going to initialize the struct for us and pass in that initial value. And now let's think about how we do the operations. Let's do add first. When we add something, we take in the lazy math struct and then the number we're trying to add. And all we're going to do is store a tuple of a description of the operation we want to take along with that number. We're not actually going to take the operation and this is the key. And so we're going to prepend that with the rest of the operations and return that lazy math struct. So it's going to be the same thing for subtracting, except we do subs and the number for multiplying and for dividing, right? So all of them are doing the same thing. We're storing the representation of the operation we want to take rather than actually taking the operation itself. Now let's go ahead and evaluate this. How would we do that? So I'll define an evaluate function. I take in the lazy math and in this case, it's a struct. It has the initial value and the operations. We first reverse the operations, and so we have the order of operations correct. Once we do that, we can reduce them with the initial value, and then we just pattern match. So if we have an addition, we grab the current total, and we add the number to it. If we have subtraction, we do the opposite. We grab the total, and we subtract from it. Same thing with multiplication. We multiply times the number, and then with division, we're going to do integer division. Pretty simple, right? So let's test it out. I want to go ahead and perform a few operations. Let's start it with 0. We add 5. We're going to subtract two. So that's going to be three. We multiply by two, that's six and divide by three. So we should get a two, but all of this should be lazily evaluated. So let's see, I have an IEX session open and let's see what this gives us. And there we go. As you can see, the return value is actually the lazy math struct and it has the initial value of zero and you see the operations. They are all in a list. Now, what happens if we evaluate that? I'll go ahead and grab the last value called lazy math, evaluate on it. And sure enough, we get two. I hope you like it.